Hi, I'm Tomas. Uh, I'm 17 and I study ERJ here in Rio de Janeiro. So how I got involved in gin was I was in homeroom during my freshman year and a senior friend of mine who I played on the softball team with, Sebastian Vincent, came up to me, gave me a paper and said, fill this out, you're going to be a part of gin, do what I say, it's good for you. So I went home, filled it out, got my mom to sign it, gave it to Mr. Prendergast and became a part of gin, not knowing what, that, what gin was at all, not knowing anything about the project, but uh, <laughs> I can with a wholeheartedly say that it was one of the greatest decisions. From being a member of Global Issues Network, uh, I've gained a lot of experience working with others, individuals, groups, uh, presenting as well. That was a big thing I learned. But the main thing I take away from it is my exposure to the entrepreneurship, specifically the social entrepreneurship side of the world. Something that I didn't know much about before. Uh, I was interested in entrepreneurship because it was a fancy word and I liked fancy words, but I didn't really exactly know what it was. And when I went to Jin and saw different people near my age presenting their social projects, being their own, being themselves entrepreneurs, I realized that that is something I really want to pursue. And it led me to continue to go after that passion and become part of the projects that I'm a part of today and do the courses that I've done today to basically change the way I was, like change the direction I was going from just what, thinking I was going to be an entrepreneur to actually going out and doing what is necessary to become an entrepreneur. So my gene project is MUST, Musical United Students and Teachers. And this project is about providing uh, musical and creative education to students who normally here in Brazil in public schools don't get that chance because as we all know STEM is the main focus of governments to have high test results, to have all these things that look good on paper, but truthfully that focus on STEM and on all those topics and the ignorance towards uh, cultural and culturally how would I say? Culturally enriching topics uh, really takes away from the society because music, art, uh, writing are all forms of expression. And it's a way, it's also a kind of therapy with many of the students I interview that work with me, with many of the people I interview that partake in some of the projects like this. They, they see this as also a kind of therapy to escape from the reality that they have and also to allow themselves to continue to move forward and no matter what's happening, you can always pick up an instrument and play. And that's what we do with MUST. We help and provide music lessons for students who typically at their schools will not have that opportunity. Well, the essential question of the project is how can we create a more united community through music while helping create an appreciation for the arts and teaching the arts? So it's developing that appreciation for music and creating that better community through interaction between two supposedly segregated sides, the supposed high class and the supposed low class, and bringing them together and showing them that truthfully there's not much of a difference between them. And the opportunities that separate them are something that shouldn't stand as a barrier. So the global issue we're addressing with MUST is the issue of poverty and the issue of education. More specifically, uh, not exactly poverty in Brazil, but poverty in the way that opportunities are presented. Most of these kids don't have these opportunities, have a lack of these opportunities, and in my mind that itself is poverty, taking away chances from these kids. Also, the other problem we're addressing is education, again, the exposure to the other side of education, the cultural side of education, where students learn about expression of themselves through art and through other forms of um, showing their talents. So the reason I'm passionate about this is because over the summer I went to a program where I learned about uh, global citizenship. And one of the things I learned is that there is this pie of intelligence, right? And each person has a slice of the pie. <laughs> has a slice of the pie. And the idea is that 
there are multiple types of intelligences and each person might have a larger slice in one of the slides of intelligence. So what we're trying to do as must is nurture the side of intelligence, the cultural side, the musical, the artistic side of intelligence that schools typically wouldn't allow these kids to express. So the reason I'm really passionate about this is because before I came to ERJ, I would never had exposure whatsoever to music or to arts and stuff like that. So once I was able to see what arts are and expose myself to these arts and expose myself to the expression of myself through music, it really changed the way that I thought and it really changed the way that I began to believe that We started our project when Grumza came up to me during advisory one day in the auditorium and he said, I have a sick idea, quote unquote. And I said, cool, let's hear it. And he said, what if we did Haza, a program at our school for teaching kids uh, English, but for music and called it Music United Students and Teachers. Uh, and I said, you talk to the right person because I've been involved in another project that does something similar, but in communities outside of the one that we're currently very close to, the Hosea community. And from then, we started working together. We talked to different sponsors, different people who work in the field, and we started Must. So the people involved are, I'll give the specific names, uh, Stefan Polinski, Bruno Goulart, Julia Guimarães, Alelisa uh, Salgado, Juan Munoz, Antonio Gomzer, and myself. We're a group of seven. We're all very dedicated students, and currently our partnerships, we're exploring ideas, but the first year partnerships right now are my mom, and I since just saw Bella Musica Brasil, which is a group that's doing a similar project, but targeting a different area. So the way we're measuring the impact of our project is by finding out how many students we've instilled this love of music in. And although we might have a class of 20, if one student turns out to have that passion for music and continues to pursue music, then we consider ourselves a success. Because in the end, what we're trying to do is give them that opportunity to expose themselves to music, to find out if this is what they want to do, to act quickly and grow upon it. And the way that our project has made an impact, at least as of now, is within the school. When we presented the project to the PTA, what the PTA told us is that for a while now they haven't really had a project that they have been able to go for, that they have felt that they can support. So what we're providing for them as well is an outlet for all their energy that they want to use towards the school's improvement because we're a project that's improving the school's community and the community of Gavia and Rio as a whole, they are really supportive of our project and we've had an impact in that sense of giving them an outlet for all that energy that they'd like to use to help. Our plan for sustainability is writing out clear goals and visions. Our mission statement is already written, our vision is already written, so that whoever takes up the reins after us can continue with the ideas we had. We have a lot of um, future activities planned, such as concerts and traveling with these students. And the way that we're gonna maintain this ability is by electing individuals that are able to, we're gonna have a selection process of individuals that we find uh, appropriate for the situation. We want to find people who are as passionate or hopefully even more passionate about this topic than we are so that they can put in the work that we've put in and continue to grow must because this isn't a project that we want to make, leave school and have crash and burn. This is a project that 15 years from now we can come back and see a band of a beginner band, intermediate band, concert band, traveling band within the school of uh, kids from these communities that have worked really hard and come together to create these bands. So we really want to see MUST continue to grow and to remain sustainable because it's important to affect as many lives as possible.
So if people want to get involved in Musk, they can email me at any time at tsalazar at erj.com.br. Uh, they can also email Antonio at agrumser at erj.com.br. They can ask us any questions about the project, any questions about how we set it up. Come in contact with us if they want to help. And if they do want to help and give donations or help sponsor us, we have a GoFundMe page. I believe it's either GoFundMe or Kickstarter that we're developing. We're in the final stages, so it's about to publish. And also, if you wish to help an individual student, you can put that student in contact with us and we'll definitely talk about it. Lastly, can people volunteer? Of course they can volunteer. We would like the help if they are willing to help, they're willing to put in the work. Who are we to deny them that? The only thing is, our number of seven members for now is going to stay the same. And if a person would like to volunteer, it would be volunteering on the weekends, helping set up and take down the lessons. Aside from that, they wouldn't exactly have a position within the club, but they'd be recognized as an active member. Uh, the model we set up, it's been completely written out on a Google Doc. So if you want to use it to set up similar projects in your own country, come in contact with me. As I said, my email again is tsalazar at erj.com.br. If you want to come and contact me about setting up this project in your own country, please feel free. We're not selfish at all. What we'd like to do is help you help yourselves and, and create this project in your own society, in your own community. Because again, the final goal of this project is to instill that uh, drive and desire to learn music and to master music. And yeah. <laughs>